This may not be the first image you think of when you picture a small Pacific island, but this is Guam, a strategic US military foothold in the Indo-Pacific, about to take out a ballistic missile in a test of multi-domain warfare. Using the Aegis Guam system integrated with an anti-P6 radar and a vertical launching system, it's the first end-to-end -end tracking use of the radar during a live ballistic missile flight test. It starts with a C-17 dropping an air-launched medium-range ballistic missile over the Indo-Pacific. Its ignition begins a very fast game of cat and mouse. Radar operators at Anderson Air Force Base scanning for incoming threats detect the target. It's now being tracked. The anti-P-6 radar quickly acquires it, locks in and communicates with the Aegis Guam system. That's where that SM-3 surface-to-air missile launch you saw at the start comes in now fired from a vertical launch system. The Aegis Guam system guides the missile as it rapidly goes through various ignition phases, the third and final stage releasing its warhead to intercept the incoming threat. Its success has seen moves to carry out the ballistic missile flight and tracking test twice a year over the next 10 years to build on integrated air and missile defense capabilities. Stuart Rumble, BFBS, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from BFBS Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.